What's up, everybody? This is DJ Chuckles coming at you live. Well, recorded from my grandmother's kitchen. A lot of you have been seeing some of the posts that I have on uh, some of the stuff I cook. None of it's really a set recipe. It's all just kind of free flow. But today, I decided to bring you along with me. Right here, we have some oyster sauce. We're about to go a little Asian and vegetarian. So we have oyster sauce flavoring, seasoning with some uh, soy sauce. Of course, your uh, basic accoutrement um, of vegetables. We have some squash, onion, chayote, squash, some cabbage, bell pepper, um, garlic, and these are fava beans. Fava beans and a Chianti. Uh, these are the fava beans. There, just tore the spine off like that. You're gonna go in with your finger. Just kind of dig it open and the beans come right out. So not too hard. Except this one right now. I don't know why. That's, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I'll try this one. There you go. Yeah, see? Boom, like that. And then the beans just come right out. So take those. And uh, this is a chayote squash, or uh, as they call them down south, malatons, as, uh, as I learned from my, my boy, Stephen Dufresne. Oh, always make sure your knife is sharpened. Ooh, there you go. There. So, now these things have seeds on the insides. Most people will say you can't eat the seeds. I say eat them. They taste just as delicious. Uh, the first ones you're going to want to throw in is the chayote because they are uh, thicker. So they'll take a little bit longer to cook. And you can slice them kind of thin. Those will help with uh, the cooking process to make them cook up a little bit faster. I'm going to kind of julienne them a little bit. Make nice little bite-sized pieces. This ingredient right here is called the star anise. It is pretty unique. It has a real nice licorice smell. We're gonna use it to pretty much uh, flavor the oil since it, uh, since it's, was it like a herb, kind of? Yeah, yeah. herb, something yeah. dried, yeah. Um, if you can't find star anise, a good substitute will be uh, fennels. So you can use a fennel and it'll kind of look uh, somewhat like, a, like an onion. We'll have like sprouts on it or you can just get the root you can just chop it up julienne it however you like so since we're gonna be throwing it in with the oil just crush it that way it'll be ready to rock and roll so so uh we're, now we're ready to start the whole cooking process I did decide to throw an audible onto the plane and I got some uh, ground ginger to throw in, give it a little extra zip. And I do like some heat, so I got some, some chili peppers. <laughs> Sorry. This is just the basic stir fry oil. Um, you don't exactly have to get this kind. Um, usually a good oil would be just regular olive oil, not extra virgin because that has a flavor on its own. So you can use olive oil, um, I even have some uh, toasted sesame seed oil that I'm also going to use right here, another audible. But uh, yeah, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, um, anyone that really has a high smoke content, uh, even avocado oil, which we have right here. So I like that one for uh, making the dressings and stuff like that. So I'm going that around. Uh, first we're going to start off with the chayote, like I said. So all those go in. Start toasting those up because these ones are a little bit, uh, I guess, tougher, so they need to cook uh, the longest to break them down. Unless you like them crisp, so the thing is, they'll always keep it stirring. Try to suck a little bit. All right. At this point, we'll add um, most of our flavorings, so the star anise. Add that in. 
break up a few chili peppers. Uh, just a little side warning, make sure not to touch yourself privately or facially <laughs> after <laughs> crushing some peppers like this. At least not for a while until the oils uh, dissipate. A little sesame oil. And really, you don't want to use a whole lot because this stuff is very strong. Now poke around with your spoon because you'll start to feel the textures change a little bit. They'll start to soften up. Now, it's not bad to have them still crispy. <coughs> oh, there's those chili peppers. <clears throat> and yes, maybe I did cough in this food, but it's alright because I'm going to eat it anyways. So. <laughs> so don't be, don't be scared about breaking some health code violations in your own kitchen. <laughs> Those are cooked up nicely and starting to soften up. We're gonna start adding in the other vegetables. Uh, add the summer squash in last because that one will wilt pretty uh, quickly. So, threw one into the pool. And I know for a lot of you meditarians, you don't specifically have to keep this uh, vegetarian. I'm just doing it on my own free <coughs> will. <coughs> There's those chili peppers. I'm just doing it on my own free will because um, obviously medical studies have shown, you know, uh, reducing the meat intake will help your cholesterol levels. And um, you guys ever seen a documentary called Forks Over Knives? There actually is. Uh, correlation between erectile dysfunction and heart disease. So, protect your heart, protect your private. Uh, way of saying, I guess. <laughs> For those of you that, uh, yeah, never mind, I'll just leave it at that. Get back to cooking here. Uh, everything's starting to brown up nicely. I'm gonna add the garlic now. Uh, if you do decide to use your knife to scoop, use the back of it so you don't mess up the blade. This is my grandma's knife, so I want to protect it as much as I can. Right. Last one's to jump in. going to be a fava beans. And a summer squash. Give these cooks stir around. Now, as you can already see, all of this is vegetables, and the amount that we use already. I mean, this can this is easily going to feed. Actually, it would be able to feed me and my other brothers, uh, Meshach and Joshua, and. Uh, yeah, if you see it, uh, we can eat, so. <laughs> uh, speaking of, shout out to my brother Josh. Still kicking it in Louisiana. My niece and nephew and his wife, Chris, Kayla, Gabriel. Alright. Now we add our sauces. I would recommend the soy sauce first. Just to get the seasoning in. Because remember, we haven't added salt at all. So the soy sauce is going to help season it up. It may have been a little too much, but we'll see. Going to add the oyster sauce. You don't really need a whole lot of it because it is uh, pretty flavorful. That's going. Oh, 
Do a little bit of ground ginger. And the cabbage. Oh my god, I forgot the other bell peppers. <laughs> That just goes to show you, nothing really has to be perfect. I mean, this is all food. It's all going in one way and out the other. As long as it tastes delicious. Unless it's date night, then try to make it look good, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could add in the cabbage a little early. Um, I decided to add it late because I still wanted to kind of be like crispy because I'm not going to have any rice with this either. So I'm also trying to watch in my, uh, my carb intake for all of you uh, fitness trainers. Shout out to Roz, you fucking sexy beast. I'm tearing it up, I see those pictures. <laughs> But uh, it will maintain its texture and flavor. If you do decide to throw it in early and uh, put some heat on it, it will develop kind of a nutty taste and uh, change the flavor profile a little bit. Here we go. Cabbage is starting to wilt up. Everything has a good color on it. And at this time, you can start tasting and uh, flavoring as you want and change things up. So. Try squash right here. Mmm. Hell yeah. It's old school. I just go by this or that. And so it's kind of something you just develop over the years. I'll use my grandma's nice plates. We're gonna use a little fresh cilantro for garnish. There you go. Vegetable stir fry brought to you by yours truly. Wait, let me see. Let me see. DJ Chuckles. <laughs> so have at it and enjoy.